Eric. Um, oh, and I wanted to ask you guys before we even get started. Does anyone, first of all, is everyone okay if I share this on my Facebook page after the fact? when I've uploaded it onto YouTube. Does anyone have a problem with this live being shared? Nope. No, everyone's okay with that? Just cause I want to, I want people to understand like, first of all, A, what the hell were missed for $21. <laughs> uh, just saying, like they're fools. Um, and it was so funny cause when I like, I, I made this decision to lower the price for this last one because it's the end of the year, right? It's 2021. Um, and I figured like so many people are struggling with finances right now. So this is the perfect price. And it was also my way of giving back to you guys. Right. Um, and I, I, I phoned my mentor up, which is Carmel Dwight And I, I messaged her and I was like, can you call me? And she's like, well, can you talk to Tamara? And I was like, fine. So I talked to Tamara, her assistant, and I ran it by her and she's like, you're going to do what? And I was like, do you think that's a bad idea? And she's like, you're going to sell out of all your tickets. And I'm like, I know, but is that a good idea? And she's like, okay, crazy one. If that's how you want to end 2022 or 2021, go ahead. She's like, I think it'll do good. And I'm like, okay, good. And then no one booked. And I was like, y'all suck. The only ones that booked are my important people. And that's the, what truly matters. Um, no, I'm joking. I know that there's lots of different Christmas things going on and, and people are all over the place. So I'm grateful for those that did show up. I'm grateful for everyone that's decided to spend a, an hour. So you know, there's only five of us. It'll probably be about an hour together. Um, how this is going to work is I am going to pull a name out. Um, and then I just want you guys to get into that place of just keeping yourself open to whoever wants to step forward. Um, because there's only five of you, A, it cuts down the, the live time. B, it means that even though I wasn't going to guarantee readings to everybody, um, everyone will walk away with some kind of message, whether it's a postcard from heaven or, or whatever, okay? The max makes sense so far, everyone good? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Where is my Sarah? Sarah's hiding. I'm gonna unmute her. All right. So, whoo, thank you everyone for being here. Um, Sarah, we're getting started, girl. I don't know where you are. You're running away, hiding. I don't know what you're doing. But okay. um, so welcome in, guys. Welcome in. Um, Thank you for, for investing and taking the time and welcome to the very last open mediumship event. Um, I just want you guys to sit back, put your feet firmly on the ground. I'm just gonna open us up. Um, all of us, we're gonna do some nice slow breaths um, and exhaling from our mouth, all right? So deep breath in through your nose, letting go of all your stress, all your worry. And exhale from your mouth. Another deep breath in. Exhale from your mouth. All right. Now, as you're just sitting there with your eyes closed and you're doing your breathing, I want you to picture a cord coming out of your belly button. It's gonna go down your legs, down your thighs, down your calves, down through your ankle, and go down your feet, down through the center of your feet. I'm gonna break through the foundation of the floor, breaking through the ground. As it falls down further, it's gonna break through the dirt, the rocks, the debris, passing through the water, and it continues to fall to the center of the earth. There in the middle of the center of the earth, you will see a rose quartz crystal. I want you to take your rope and tie it, fasten it around that rose quartz, making you be grounded. 
once you've gone around that twice, I want you to start to climb back up the way you just came. Deep breath in, exhale out, breaking through the ground, the dirt, the rock, the debris, breaking back through the foundation of the floor until it reaches just to the soles of your feet. Deep breath in, fell out. Try and wrap yourself around your feet. And whenever you're ready, your eyes. Here we go. How's everyone feeling now? Good. Calmer? Calm. Calm. Um, here's, can I hear you? Let's see, one, two, three. Okay, perfect. I just wanted to make sure. All right. So okay, I'm here. You're, you're here. Okay, perfect. Um, and it figures, guess what, guys? The first name that came out isn't even here. Annabelle, not here. So we're going to put her name aside. If she comes in, we'll deal with that later. But those that matter are here. Um, this is going to be recorded as well, just so everyone knows. Sorry, I didn't know if you are okay with me sharing on my business page, but I'm going to share this one on my business page um, just because everyone's missing out on the fun. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I'm going to mute everyone. And then the only one that's going to get unmuted is the person whose name has been selected. Hello, Hello Miss Trisha, number Hi. one. See, I feel like sometimes I kind of like, I know I'm a medium, I know I'm a psychic. I feel like intuitively I picked up and that's why I was like, can I hear you? Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have your name out, but your name was pulled. So there you go. Um, so I'm just gonna, Call in your loved ones. And thank you for your Christmas gifts, by the way, Patricia. You're very um, welcome. My pleasure. They're, they're under my tree. Okay. Um, I'm excited. Um, so right away, Trish, when I connect with your energy, I am I'm getting two things. So I'm getting an older male fatherly energy so this is either your dad your grandfather or a father-in-law or a stepfather does that make sense um yeah it could be my grandfather or my father-in-law okay which one passed away from something to do with the chest lung or heart oh my grandfather okay um would he have been in the military or had a connection to the military yep in portugal because he's saluting me so and it's he's very like it's very proper like I'm very well dressed man um so <laughs> Christmas was a big time but he said what's with all the hustle and bustle like why do we have to hustle and bustle does that make sense like he he was like dude I'm fine just sitting in my chair rocking back and forth watching everyone do their thing and then just bring me the food like yep. that's that, <laughs> that's what he wants just bring me the food I don't even have to come sit with y'all y'all can just sit at the table I'm gonna sit here watching my tv eating my dinner does that make sense yep it makes perfect sense uh, perfect and he's like He's like, and this is how it should be every year. Like he says, people just should grab their food, go sit in the living. Why? We don't sit around the table anymore. Like what, what is, what? there's no point. People are like all over the place. You might as well smorgasbord it, he says. Exactly. Um, <laughs> um, he keeps giving me like this, he was like this. And so like um, either he had very, I feel like this is cold hands, but I also feel like rough hands. So he did something with his hands or worked with his hands. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, and he, keeps he always had me, like very big, heavy hands. Okay. Cause he keeps showing me like working with wood or creating things from wood. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, he says she's with me. So I don't know if his wife is crossed over, but he's acknowledging her as well. And I feel like their passing was very close together. So I don't know if it was like, I went to, to me, like there's no time on energy. So, or on 
in heaven, their idea of time is totally different than our idea of time. But I feel like within one to five years, they both were crossed over from each other. Does that make sense? Just a little bit over. It was about seven. Okay. Um, is there a connection to five for either of them? So like the month of May or like 2015, 2005, like th there's the five is significant or the fifth. Their wedding anniversary is September 25th. Okay. Um, do you know if there was five kids? Did they have five kids? Six. Listen. <laughs> He's only acknowledging that. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> I, and I was like, so you're forgetting about a child? And he's like, no, there's only five. And I'm like, well, you just said there was six. And he's like, there's five. So I don't know if it, this is just how he was or like he wasn't very close to one of the children. Does that make sense? Yeah, that could be one of the things, yeah. Okay. Um, he's really, he, he's got a very bubbly personality, but he's, and he's like stern yet not stern stern I don't know how to describe it it's like he's like like this to me but then he's like yes like this innocent like mischievousness about him um he keeps talking about like things changing so did he pass and then grandma passed is that kind of like how it went no my grandma passed first okay um so what he's showing me, so I have dyslexia, so left and right to me is like totally the opposite of the way, and I hate doing that, but hey, I wrote a book. We so, are who we are. That's all and I, I wrote a book and I have dyslexia, so that's like an achievement altogether. We just erase everything else. But <laughs> see, I told you guys, I'm the same person. I'm just like your next door neighbor. Um, but I feel like he's really funny in the sense of like, that was the only way I could get peace. That was the only way I could get peace. And it's almost like, I don't know if your your did you call her grandma? Because I don't feel like you called her grandma. I feel like there was another name used, whether you called her grandma or someone else called her like Nan or Oma. Like I called her Vava. Okay, because it's I I heard Oma. So um that would explain the 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 ending part of I didn't hear what did you say? Vava. I'm not even going to attempt to say it, okay? It's, uh, <laughs> is it Polish? It's Portuguese. It's Portuguese? Okay, how do you yeah. say it again? Slow it down. Va, vo. Va, vo. Va, vo? Va, vo. I said it. I'm so proud of myself. I won't remember this, by the way. And then grandfather, I, you just change the end. So it's va, vu for va grandfather. Vu? Oh, listen to, they, they like to party as grandparents is what I'm picking up on. <laughs> <laughs> ba boom ba bam all uh -huh. right um i love it i love it i love it um so i don't know if like i feel like they were very close together when they were like when they were both alive like did everything together supported each other but it it's like in some sense i feel like your nan ba 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 see i already forgot it anyway <laughs> grandma um <laughs> i feel like with her not that she meant to nag, but I feel like she was a nag. Do you know what I mean? Like, almost like on grandpa's case about certain things, like always had the honey to do list ready for him. And well, like, life isn't like that, you know? <laughs> well, listen, I've had a couple that don't come through like that. So, um, but he's, he's the, the energy he's giving me is like very playful, very loving. Um, family meant everything to both of them. Um, Grandma wants to talk about the jewelry. So do you have jewelry of grandma's or like do you have a ring or a necklace that was hers or that she gave you? I specifically don't. My aunt does. Okay. So she's talking about, she's mentioning the jewelry. So I just have to give it up. Is it a ring? Uh, she probably has a little bit of everything. Earrings, okay. bracelets, so rings, she keeps watches. Talking about the main ring. So I don't know if this is her wedding ring or main engagement ring, something like this. And it's almost like somebody can't wear it because it doesn't fit. She's saying they can change it. They can change it. It's almost like they don't want to change it because they feel like it's disrespecting or they need permission. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, do you have a brother? Nope, I'm an only child. Okay. Um, do you have someone that was like a brother to you that's crossed over? So like a male friend, 
someone that you were extremely close to. I feel like their passing was quickly, suddenly, unexpectedly. Even if, like, here's the thing, even if it wasn't while you were an adult, I feel like it stems to like high school days. Um, they are there with you to protect you, to support you, and they're pushing you out of your comfort zone. Um, and I feel like 2021, you've definitely had to step out of your comfort zone. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, okay, I don't know what... If, is there like a Christmas dish that your grandma would have made every Christmas? I feel like it's not plum pudding, but it reminds me of like rice pudding, but it's not rice pudding. Does that make rice sense? Rice pudding's already a given. Yes. Okay. But, and I know that's really like, it can be taken as very vague, but I, did she put cranberries in it or like something like, I'm not Cinnamon? saying- no, no, it wasn't. It's like something like a berry or some kind of fruit item that went into it. There's something that she put into something that you have to have at Christmas. And I don't feel like it's like traditional Christmas dinner. I feel like it's something that her grandma would have made or like that's been passed on through the family. Um, she talks about big changes coming for you and she says she's supporting you and she keeps going like this. So this is my way of interpreting that you are not doing something that you know you should be doing or you're doing something you know you shouldn't be doing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, the, okay, do you have diabetes? No. Okay, who's got diabetes in the family? Someone is like eating sugar or my like sneaking sugar, husband, like all, the, is this their child? Is this their child? My aunt is her child, yes. Okay. She knows better and she's not drinking enough water either. Like she's totally not listening to her diet, to what the doctors are saying. And it's almost like, I and I don't feel like it's just her. I feel like, is this grandma on mom's side of the family? Yes. Okay. Um, your mom's still alive though correct yes okay <laughs> are you guys distant no we're very close okay what's the distance like does she not live does, does she my not mom doesn't live? live with me but we're about um a 45 minute drive from each other so that's fairly close i talk to her every day okay um was your mom and her mom not very like, no, they were live? close to, at okay. one point, until I was 18, we all lived in the same house. Okay, there's something about distance. So I don't know if this is, like, necessarily to do with you or your mom or the relationships. It could be, like, has the family gone distant since their passing? It's almost like... Oh, yeah, they we were don't the have glue. family no more. Yep. They were the glue that kept the family together. Yeah. And the moment they both passed, it was like the family drifted apart. Yeah. And it's like the stubbornness and the fighting that took place in regards to like, I, I the last will and testament is what I feel like yeah. caused this this causing. Um, that was never the the intention by your grandparents. Um, they thought everyone would be happy with the decisions that were made. And sometimes I feel like not that it intentionally happens to you but i feel like the weight of the family falls on your shoulders because you're like this is stupid like you guys are all asking like great school kids mm -hmm. um to build yourself up to feel who you are and to be proud of the changes that you're making 2022 is going to be a very 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 big year for you um not only financially but I feel like abundance coming in. And I don't know if, I have hiccups. Um, I don't know if you've already had the abundance showing up, um, but I feel like a, a job. What's the hiccups mean? Tell me. <laughs> okay, they're gone. Um, hiccups usually just means like they, it's another sign for me for like struggles with like speaking their truth. Um, and it's almost like they're making me stop to take a breath. Um, I feel like there's abundance coming in for you for 2022. I also feel like a job change or like a change of 
place or space. And I don't know what that exactly means because all the, they're literally showing me like things going like this. Like there's a bunch of different yeah, places. They have it exactly on point. Cause I'm like okay. this right now with different departments and okay. I'm hoping just to be part of one department. Okay. So that is they happening. Have focus and growth in that one spot. Yeah. And I feel like that's going to happen in 2022. I feel like April, May, okay. like that, that's kind of thing. I feel like you're going to get back to work after the after like mirror and things like that. And I feel like you're going to be told like, there's this opportunity opening up. Um, do you want it type thing? Like, it's almost like it's going to be offered to you. I don't know necessarily if you should take that one first. Cause I feel like it's almost like you've already been in that area and it didn't really resonate with you. And it didn't make you feel like you were passionate about your job. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, you're a caretaker as well like you love to caretake for people um but the thing is is you, you give too much of your energy away and then you don't know how to restore your cup does that make sense yeah people please too much yeah stop that um the card you got for 2022 is you ordered a a 2022 year in vision reading right you did it you didn't i entered the contest to win it though I know, but that's not judging until like December 31st, guys. All I'll right. Wait. I'll wait. <laughs> okay. Um, so the card you got is Loon Intuitive. Okay. Um, and it's for intuition. And I feel like you are very, very much intuitive. I feel like you struggle with trusting it. And I feel like trust has been a big thing in your life since you were a little girl. I feel like, so here's the thing. I don't know who it was that misused your trust i'm just gonna say it that way but i know it's hard to forgive but you need to for your highest and greatest good it has nothing to do with them you don't have to physically go to them and give forgiveness but you do have to forgive for you for your journey for your healing you don't have to forget what that person did and you'll never forget what that person did but you do have to come to a place of forgiveness Okay. And so that's your lesson for 2022. It says, listen to the song in your soul, trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing things emerge from the, the busy, I was going to say messy life, busy life and seek more <laughs> solitude, recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. And I feel like sometimes you question whether or not someone authentically loves you for who you are but you need to propel yourself forward does that make sense yeah so believe in yourself have hope in yourself know there are big things coming for you um do you have any questions for any of them no you are awesome all righty thank, thank you, you so, so much. much you're welcome and love and light all right i love when spirit works love it okay I'm gonna go like this, put a line, this one done. All right. You guys like my look at look, look at my little jar. I went all Christmas Eve. This is Christmas. Ha Sarah over there. You better not be doing a diamond art without me. I'm just saying. I'm not, I promise. Okay. Just saying. I have one right there though. I have it's one right there that I just completed today. <laughs> it's Santa Claus. All right. Oh, I got to show these because I love doing this. And then when they see that this happened and they weren't here. So the second name that was pulled was Zeta. Not here. Two people. Not here. All right. Hey, let's hope this person's here. Sarah H. That's you, Sarah, because I put an H because I knew it was belonged to Tina. Trina. Okay. Okay. So Sarah, 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 Sarah. You're my only Sarah, Sarah. All right. Take a deep breath in. You missed my meditation, but that's okay. Exhale out. Another deep breath in. Exhale out. 
Do you resonate with the mail that was coming through for Trish? That passed quickly, suddenly, unexpectedly. Yeah. Okay, just keep yourself. I was wondering, I think a part, I was kind of wondering a lot of part of it resonated with me. <laughs> yeah, so what can sometimes happen? And I, I kind of felt like, okay, if it's not connected to Trish, then it must be for someone else in the room. What can mm -hmm. sometimes happen, my loves, is that spirit will piggyback through because it's easier for them to like, you know, like when you're piggybacking, right? One person carries the weight, the other person just kind of like hops along. Um, and I kind of feel like, um, this male. So was this a brother that is crossed or an uncle? Cause I feel like, but you're on, you're on muted time. Um, so was this a brother or an uncle that's crossed over Sarah? To me, it was my grandpa. Okay. Because he um, was diagnosed with cancer in like three weeks he was gone. Okay. So here and gone here and gone. Yeah. Was he young though? Like, was he not older age? No, he was 80. Okay, because the energy, so here's what can happen too, is when we cross over, we can go back to an age that we like really flourished in our life or loved our life at that prime. And I feel like he's in his forties. Like that's how young he's gone down. Um, he makes me feel this energy of like playfulness, stubbornness, steadfast. Um, and did he like, was this lung cancer? Uh, pancreas. What's with the lung? Uh, Who's crossed that pass from the lung? That's male. My other grandpa on my dad's side. Okay. He had exactly. COPD really bad. They're cheating. They're cheating. They're cheating. They're cheating. <laughs> um, okay. So we have grandpa on mom's side. Yeah. And grandma on dad's side coming through. All right, bad mom. So I'm trying to get them to separate. And you said dad's side was a COPD or mom's side was a COPD? Dad. Okay, and then pancreas was mom's. Yeah. Okay, pancreas was quickly, suddenly unexpected. Yeah, very. No time, no reason. Um, what's the J initial? Uh, his name was Joe. Okay. Um, so it's just his way to acknowledge his name. Um, he also wants to talk about the month of October as being significant. So this is either someone's birthday or anniversary of either his passing or his birthday. Does that make sense? Mm, I don't know. His birthday is the same month as mine and it's November. Okay. And he passed in is June. This, is it the end of October? Like, is it, the, or sorry, is his, is, is, the beginning of november yeah his is the beginning of november okay so that's why he, he's brought me to the end of october um so this is just his way of giving an acknowledgement is there like seven kids did he have seven kids no they had they only had three but well they had four but one passed when she was a baby okay does he have seven grandchildren or great grandchildren? Uh, he has five. But my my um, my dad's dad would have seven. Okay. Um, someone's giving me seven grandkids. Um. Yeah, because my dad has like seven siblings. Okay. Um. It's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. <laughs> there's like six boys and one girl my grandma had there was 13 kids mm. mm -hmm. and like seven were hers or eight were hers and the rest were adopted children that, that she adopted um so yeah I know the big family thing I miss that I really do this is really hard living alone and having no family around just say it um oh look at Zita came in <laughs> Um, they're talking about this change that's coming for you as well. Um, are you going back to school? Mm, not till next summer. But it's like 2023, I'm going to start my master's. 
No, I don't feel like it's that. I feel like more training, more development, more something. Um, like taking something on the side to help you. Um, someone's getting a dog. Or just got a dog. Danica. This thing is hyper as fuck. Um, <laughs> like hyper 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 um is it black uh i think partially yeah black and brown. almost like like roddy is what i'm feeling um Did you, so here's the thing. Did you like look at December and was like, I don't want to celebrate Christmas or were you like thinking of canceling Christmas or like, I feel like, here's the thing. I feel like you entered December and you were like so overwhelmed and you, you just got in this place. And I don't know if you were going through grief or you were struggling with grief or there was something going on, but I just feel overwhelmedness. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Um, do you, have a grandma, do you have a grandma also that's crossed? Like, is your mom's mom passed as well? My dad's. Dad's mom? Okay, so they're together. Um, she's not a very loud talker, just saying. She's very quiet, very steadfast. Um, which is unusual because I feel like when she was in the physical, she was very like communicative and like, let's do this and let's do this and, and that kind of thing. But she's just, she doesn't have a lot of, info to give you um she wants you to know that she that she believes in you even when you don't believe in yourself and did, were you just looking at a photo album or a book a family mm, not recently no okay there's something about like writing christmas cards so either you're supposed to write christmas cards or you're just to carry that tradition on there's something about christmas cards like give a christmas card this person needs a christmas card this card person needs a phone call like if you like there's someone that's very distant right now and almost struggling with some stuff, whether this is just you going yeah, through this me. <laughs> up on your energy of it, but I just feel yeah. like I'm overwhelmed mm -hmm. and I feel like, I don't know if you've been, I don't want to call you out, but I'm going to call you out because you know me, I'm a straight shooter. I don't fucking sugarcoat. You need to reach out, honey. You can't be continuing to like try to deal with life on life's term without help, help having help with you. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like um, this heaviness, this sadness, like journaling, getting back to doing that, filling your mind with other things that doesn't take you down that other path. Because you've come a long way from where you were to where you are now. Has 2019 and 2020 been very challenging for you? Absolutely. But you're, you're moving through it. You're growing through it. So allow yourself to do that. And stop belittling yourself. Stop saying you're not good enough because you are good enough. You're worthy enough. You have a good home. So stop thinking you don't. Like, I need more or I need less. Like, stop that. I've been to your house, woman. Right. Yeah. So be proud of yourself and be proud of the changes that you have made. 2020 has sucked and 2021 sucked even more for a lot of us. And I'm the first one to admit that 2021 was definitely a challenging year for even me. And I don't talk about this a lot publicly, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to share something and I'm not going to, I'm not going to post this live. Um, I'm just, I'll wait till the new year because I want you guys to understand something. Everyone thinks that light workers and healers and mediums don't struggle. I almost wouldn't be here today. Six months ago, I tried to commit suicide um, because of the heaviness. So the reality is, is that even though I'm a healer and even though I do things and I help people, sometimes the weight of the world weighs upon my shoulders right? And I can only heal and fix so many people. Um, this was right, it was probably less than six months ago, probably only like four months ago. 
um, in September when I had my gallbladder out. They, I, I'm a 15 year recovering drug addict and they gave me tramadol, which is a pain medication. It's like morphine, but not morphine and stronger. And I accidentally took a little bit too much. Um, but under the eyes of the law, they automatically went to that assumption. Was I already in a sadness place in my life? Absolutely. I was struggling with my worth as a medium, as a healer, as a teacher. I was struggling with everything that's been going on since 2019. I have been sold out like nonstop every single month. Hi, Zita. Your name was called. You weren't here, but that's okay. I'll come back to you and pull a card for you. Um, so just know that you are worthy of so much. And even though you may be struggling, be strong and be, be compassionate and know that you're worthy, right? We chose to come here, guys. We chose every life lesson we wanted to learn from and experience from. And I share a lot of my story with people. I was in a battered women's syndrome. You know, I struggled with a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, but one thing I pride myself in the last five years is that I fight and I don't give up, right? I'm here for a reason, just like each and every single one of you is here for a reason. At some point we all have gone through, and especially in the last 24 months because of COVID, we've struggled with our worth. We've tr struggled with how we fit in. How many, just by a show of hands, and Trisha, I know you're off there, but that's okay. But how many, show of hands, how many of you are extroverts? Right? How many, of you, are, how many of you are introverts? How many of you are better? So an extrovert is someone that likes to be around people, needs, likes hugging people, like socializing. Introvert is someone that's like quite comfortable going in their house and just hanging out alone right? So introverts, extroverts, that's difference, right? Here's the thing. And I learned this um, a couple of years ago in a, in a uh, anxiety panic attack course that I took. Introverts have been practicing isolation their whole entire lives. They are pros at this, right? For us extroverts, and y'all know me by watching me enough, know how extroverted I am right? So this has definitely been a, a very challenging 24 months for me, right? Um, at the beginning, at the beginning of 2021, I literally was saying to Amazon when they came to my door, can I have a hug? I'll put on a mask. Can I just hug you? Right? Like I was getting out of the Tim Hortons in, in the Tim Hortons drive through after I placed my order and they go to hand it to me. And I'm like, I'm going to get out of my car and just grab it and, and shake your hand and say, thank you. And the lady's like, are you okay? Like, do we need to call someone? And I'm like, I just need to see humans. I need people, right? So don't feel like we have to be strong all the time. Know that it's okay to not be okay, right? And it, it's human. It's, we're, we're energetic beings. We're spiritual beings. We came here to play the game of life. And we came here to learn and grow. And so no matter the no matter who it is, we all go through this, right? And we can grow through this. And every breakdown we have leads us to an incredible breakthrough. And let me tell you, 2021 was the year of lessons and healing. 2022 is the year of you writing your own story. And that's my love, Sarah, what you're going to do. Pick up purple or blue, my love. Um, purple. Okay. My favorite color. Do you have any questions for any of them? Uh, I don't know. Do you have, is, okay, so I keep being told to grab my love notes. Do you have a partner that's crossed over as well? Like an ex-partner? Okay, I'm gonna pull you a love note from heaven as well. Okay. I just like, I had a best friend. Male? Uh, Not female. And if it is female, they look like a male or portrayed themselves very masculine. See, like we had two, two boys that were like 18 and 15 pass away a long time ago. 
well not a long time ago maybe like seven years ago I feel like this person looked to you and was like it was more how do I put it it's like they had a crush on you but they would never admit it like they were friends but they wouldn't admit it so I'm going to give you the love note from heaven because I'm going to trust spirit that there's a reason for it so the postcard you chose was you don't have to see the ocean to know that it is there. You don't have to see the Eiffel Tower to know that it's there. You don't have to see me to know that I am here. Trust me, I am here. The knocking at the front door and no one's there, that's your grandpa um, on dad's side. Um, and I don't know if somebody is, is, is somebody who just quit smoking mm. around you. Because whoever it my is, my mom quit for quite a long, for probably ten years. Smoking, yeah, but she's smoking again. That's what he said. Um, probably. Oh, well, yeah. Sometimes I wonder. Not. I don't think she's smoking cigarettes, but yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, honey, it's legal everywhere. Yeah. Um, just saying. <laughs> Okay, so the, they gave you two for whatever reason. So I'm just going to trust this. So know that these um, are either from your grandpa or a friend. However you resonate with them, take the message. It says they're singing our song. I've had a song in my head the whole time I got here. Today, I'm going to communicate with you through songs. Listen to the radio and know that I'm pulling all the right songs up for you today. I love you and I'm with you. And I do feel like this is a best friend. This best friend is, was there something about drowning or throat or like couldn't, she couldn't speak up for herself. She couldn't talk <clears throat> very well. Mm. I feel like struggle to speak my truth or you're struggling to speak your truth. Yeah, probably me. Okay. Um, and then yeah. the last part, like she would call you out. Yeah. Start speaking the truth um the second card she gave you is i woke up this morning after a beautiful rest which i know you didn't get last night um and you were the most beautiful amazing thing on my mind i love you don't forget it um the tossing and turning get a dream journal you're dreaming you're getting messages um and i don't know who the wise medicine woman is but that's who i get keep getting told just say wise medicine woman. So I don't know if this is you or someone in the family still, but someone has an ability to make herbs or like bring back the old, the old ways. Okay. And it's a woman. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. So someone's <laughs> playing with herbs, not that kind of herb, young lady, just say not that kind. Of... <laughs> I know we're on the topic. We're all, we're all green friendly here, aren't we? Um, so, except for me, I quit a year ago. Um, <laughs> so just know that you are worthy, that things are coming. Um, I keep hearing um, extra stuffing and dark meat, extra stuffing and dark meat. Um, and I feel like this is grandpa on dad's side. Um, needs, I don't know, like the turkey leg or something like that. And don't forget the wishbone. And he's going to win it anyways. So, okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to mute you. All right, Zita, I'm coming to you because your name was called. I know. I'm sorry. Zita, what is the dealio? Um, I'm currently recovering from cervical cancer surgery and I'm three weeks from surgery and I'm not recovering well. Oh, honey. Okay. Well, no. We're just gonna we're just gonna send you energy and healing and prayers. Um, I've been there. Ooh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a tough one. Um, it's it a tough a, one. It is a tough one. Um, but we do recover, right? And there is hope, and we just have to be strong and have positivity. Um, okay, so you missed the mediumship or the uh, the meditation. Um. And it's really funny because when I was looking over the names of the attendees, I was like, oh, this person, I like literally know who's going to get picked, by the way, just to let you guys all know. Oh. Gave me insight. Um, but when it came to you, 
I literally was like, ooh, as much as she wants to hear from a loved one, this girl's going through heaviness. This girl's going through some things. And it's not just health things. Like I didn't pick up on your health things um, because I don't do health readings, right? But I feel like it's like door number one, door number two, door number three. And I feel like you like, you're like a kid on Christmas. And I know it's Christmas time, so I'm going to describe it that way. Listen, you can't, you can't pick it up and you can't shake it. By the way, hold on. Yes, you can. I don't know. I don't know. You didn't, Carol, you didn't see that. I see you laughing up there in that corner. I don't know what it is. But anyway, that's bad. See this one? Here, I'll show you something. I know what one of these is. This one's from Scotland. And it's wool. I know it's wool because I can feel it and my fiance let it slip. Because I get what I want, what I want it. Just saying. Um, so as I as I'm connecting to your energy, like first and foremost, um okay, hold on. Is okay. I told Spirit I don't do these readings, but they're gonna make me go there. Is there someone else? <sighs> Did your mom have cancer as well? Yep. Is she crossed over? No, my gr but all three of my grandmothers have though. Okay. All from cancer. Okay. The grandma with breast cancer. My mom's mom. Okay. So because she's like. She's like, I got my tatas. So I don't know. <laughs> and it's <laughs> she's very polite. So I don't know if that's how she called them or what she called them. But she's like, I got my tatas. And she's like going like this. Like she's all proud. So I don't know if she had a mastectomy before she passed. Um, but she's like, everything is restored. She goes, and I'm I'm at peace. I'm at peace. I, were you not there when she passed or were you not able to be there when she passed? No. Nope. And are you holding guilt over that? Uh, like I, I was a teenager. I just never was able to process it. I was 14 and it went from lung to all over her body yeah. and she lost I so felt, many organs. Like it's, yeah. chest. it's chest. It's chest. Yeah, that was the last surgery she had and she yeah. didn't make it out of surgery. Yeah. Um, so here's the thing. First of all, um was she okay she's funny um I was like oh you're kind of short and she's like I'm not a dwarf so I don't know if she, <laughs> she's but she's like making me feel like she's under five foot like she's shorter than me like I would literally tower I'm five three and I would tower over her um and she's like, respect your elders. And she's literally going like this. Um, and she's like, what I lacked in height, I made up in, in love. I made up in love. And she has this incredible love for the whole entire family. And it's kind of funny because I feel like when you came into this, you were hoping to hear from grandma. Um, whether it was this grandma or the other grandma, I feel like there's two grandmas that you would want to hear from. I feel like this one, you weren't as close to as you were the other one or the grandmother-like energy. Do you have a locket that someone gave you? Yes, the okay. locket she gave me. That this grandma that I'm connecting to gave you? She's bringing up, because she's bringing up the locket. She keeps going like this. She's like, open it, open it, open it. And then she keeps, goes peekaboo. I'm like, what? She doesn't look like she's four. Um, <laughs> um, what's the, so there's, Besides the locket, I feel like you have another piece of jewelry as well. And do you have something next to you that was grandma's? Um, I do. Um, I pointing have... to it. She's like, bring up the thing beside her. Bring up the thing that's beside her. <laughs> yeah, I have her. Um, she used to have a headscarf. She slept in when she did her hairs and her hair and rollers every night. I sleep. I slept with the he same headscarf on when I lost all my hair four years ago, when I started my cancer journey. So it's her way of saying, I was with you during that. 
yes, you've been struggling. Yes, you've been like, you've been feeling almost scared. Like, is the same thing that happened to them going to happen to me? I feel like here's the thing. Number one, you found, you, you, you caught it. I feel like quick enough. I do feel like you caught it quick enough. They even said that to you. Like we caught it now. Like that's literally how they spoke it to you. I feel like, is it, is it just going to go into remission and disappear? I don't feel like it's going to do it fast so to speak, I do feel like you're going to have to have a few surgeries. And I know the one that you're waiting to have, I feel like you struggle with, with it because you're like, well, is it like, if I don't have it, will I, will I pass away type thing? And I feel like you're struggling with that. And I feel like I'm going to say this and I'm going to say this as kindly as I physically can. Okay. You don't always have to have children of your own to have children. Does that make sense? It does. Um, and for children are still children, just saying. Um, <laughs> I do feel, so I, but I also feel like, here's the thing. I feel like you're, Here's the thing. There are people that get hit with the terrible C. And that's what I call it. I lost my mother to it. I've had it. Um, that sit there and go, why me? Why did this happen to me? I'm young. I've still got a whole life ahead of me to live. Why me? The thing about you, Miss Zita, is mm -hmm. that you looked at it as like, okay, now what? Like you really haven't approached this in the sense of, yes, you've had your fears, but you've faced your fears and you have been through worse than this. And you Sadly came out is. stronger. You came out stronger. And like I, so first and foremost, I feel like both your grandmas have been around you and supported you throughout your life. Um, I feel like the grandma that passed when you were 14, I feel like she was definitely a, she, she was and is a strong guardian angel to you. Um, she has been there throughout, throughout the DV. And I'm just going to say it that way. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm talking about? Um, yeah. Cause I'm not going to tap into it because she's giving me an airflow right now. And I don't like it. She's yelling at me and yelling at you. Um, and I'm trying to tell her off politely in English. Um, <laughs> Cause I feel like there's an accent or there's some kind of other language or we have a language barrier of some sort. Um, or she's just yelling really loud. Um, she's a movie. <laughs> they yell oh, really loud and really fast. What, it's like it's strong. It's like, I, I'm be, dude, I'm being sworn at, but not <laughs> sworn at. Just saying. Um, oh, the, shut it. Um, <laughs> um, I, I do love her. I'm very respectful, guys, to spirit. I'm telling you, but sometimes you have to tell them off, okay? Um, okay. Stop stacking your pile. I'm going to say it like that it's what they're showing me they're literally showing me like one box one box one box and then they're showing me a stack of books okay it's like you're stacking all things into one category and you need to stop that you need to have ebb and flow and you need to focus on one thing at a time does that make sense 100 percent. i'm famous for piling it all up and being like this all goes here this all goes here yeah, this all no, goes here no no. And the thing is, is like you're setting and not that you're meaning to set yourself up for failure, but I feel like it's almost like you're. <sighs> okay. See the cup. To see the cup. I'm not mm -hmm. put the cup away. Stop. Demonstration. That better not be coffee. Yeah. 
No. Yeah, you're, you're so fucking lying to me. But anyways, I'll deal with you later privately. Um, Because you know better. What's in the cup is for you. What pours out of that cup is for everyone else. You're fighting something that normally takes people out, especially women, right? We know that. There's, there's two types of cancers that are the number one killer, cervical and breast. But you have so much love and fight in your life, but you keep giving it out to everyone else that doesn't deserve it. That's not worthy of it. You need to be good to you. And that's what 20, like I, I said it earlier when I was just Brendan Carroll here, 2022 is the year of you. You're going through a healing process. You're going through something that most women don't recover from. Do I feel like you're going to lose your battle? No, because you're too fucking stubborn. Yeah. But the thing is, is like everyone can tell you what to do, but you have a mind of your own. Everyone gets to write their, your, everyone tries to write our stories, right? They try to. Everyone's telling you, Zita, this is what I think you should do. This is what I don't think you should do. But guess what? Guess who gets to actually make that decision? You. And whatever you're doing right now, you're doing what you need to do for you. And if people can't understand that, too fucking bad. Kick bricks. But you need to believe in yourself and keep that ebb and flow and have that communication with your grandmas. They're with you. They're supporting you. They're helping you. Um, I don't know if you've lost a child or someone close to you has lost a child, but grandmas both are showing me this little baby girl that's with them. And they said they have the baby. They have the baby. And to please know that it's with them. And they named, okay, I don't know how to say this name, but it's like Everest or Eva or something like, not Eva, but like something like that is the name that they've given her. Yeah, her name was Holly Eve. She was my cousin. She died at six months old. Okay. Um, and were you like almost like a second parent to her? Um, I was or just there you... for my aunt a lot because I lost my brother the identical way. Okay. So please know that they're all with you. Um, your brother, not very communicative. <laughs> um, not very talkative. Um, did he pass at the same age? He was four. Okay. Um, He likes dogs. He likes dogs. Um, and he's actually at Rainbow Bridge. He's showing me the rainbow and he's showing me dogs. Did you, did, did you just like did someone, either you or someone close to you just have to put a dog down? My best friend. Their dog is with them. Um, and I, so two things. Number one, I feel like this is a little, little dog. Um, yep. Very little. Um, very, 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 um, how do I put it? Yappy. Um, I don't know if this was like a Chihuahua or, or like terrier, like that toy poodle, something small, that size. Um, but please know that they're all together. Um, you need to believe in yourself and you got the confidence in yourself and you need to fight the fucking fight and not give up. Do you follow me on TikTok? I do. Who are you on TikTok? Uh, Atez R. Okay. So it's my name, but backwards with my last name initial. Uh, to well, that prevent do your confusing back names, Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, to um, prevent my ex-husband's family from finding me. Okay, that's what I remember it was. Um, Because you, you don't have a profile picture, right? I do, but it's a very distorted profile picture. Okay. Make sure you send me a message so that I know and I can tell my mods not to remove you or block you or anything, just to make sure. Okay. okay. I have rules um, going into 2022 because we're going to stop the trolling that's taking place on my page. I'm not putting up with it. Um, do you have any questions for them? 
No, I didn't even think I'd hear from half of them. Who's the birthday? Who's got the birthday coming up? My sister. Is it like next week? Yep. Two days after Christmas. Okay. They're acknowledging the birthday. And is this like a big birthday? Like 30 or like something big? Um, this is her 40th. They don't have time. She shouldn't have made it to her 35th. She's had so many open heart surgeries. Yeah. She's a fighter. Y'all are fucking, all the women <laughs> in your family are stubborn. Like y'all are still, your stubbornness is getting you through. <laughs> so have strength and have faith in that. And thank you for coming in. Thank you for making the time. Um, I'm sending you healing energy. Um, you Do you know I do Reiki, distant Reiki? Uh, no, I didn't know that one. No. Okay. I do offer distant Reiki. Um, are you following my Facebook page? Uh, I don't have Facebook. Okay. Um, I will send you, message me on TikTok and I can send you all the information for distant distant Reiki, like the cost and stuff like that. Cause I feel like you could really benefit from it. Um, and I can literally go into that specific area and do what I can to pull as much of that darkness out. Um, the lower back pain that you're having, um, hot, hot pads, um, hot baths, um, doing a lot of that, um, and just taking time for you, hot showers, and if you can't, if you can't manage to bathe, bathe, like have a bath, then um, there's these really cool things are called aromatherapy shower shimmer discs. And they put you put them on the bottom of your bathtub. And then, and then it's almost like you get aromatherapy at the same time. They're on Amazon. I'm getting like five. I'm just saying. I'll have to find that. <laughs> yeah. So um, I hope that makes sense. I hope it resonates. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for believing in me. And um, you know about the review thing on my TikTok post yeah. please go do a review on there and if you've done any because you i know you won't do post content obviously so um for reasons but just mm -hmm. put, a, put a nice review on there and uh or say something about it be like yeah Haha, you fools you missed out on the best thing ever um because i was promote dude how many of you know i've been promoting this for like since the last one there should be more people here but I'm glad that all of you guys are here. I really am. I love, you know what I love? I feel like I have two grandmas right now because Carol's right here and Brenda's right here. So it's like my two grandmas. I just could be like, hi. <laughs> we should have done that couch one for us girls. <laughs> so thank you Zeta for joining. Um, I'm going to pull you a postcard from heaven as well. So do you want a blue or purple or do you want, wait, do you want a postcard from heaven? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you decide. You ready? Okay. You can either choose a postcard from heaven or you can pick a, have a 2022 spirit guide, animal guide message. We'll do the spirit guide message. All right. So your animal guide for 2022. is grizzly bear um and it's for power kind of resonates it says i am indestructible i honor my intuition and i go where it leads love and gentleness are my real strength i never give up and i will succeed thank you if that wasn't the confirmation and the validation you needed, be strong and just keep fighting the good fight. My thoughts and prayers are with you and uh, I'll be a thorn on your side. Send me a message on TikTok too so I can make sure that I'm following you back just to make sure because if I follow you back then you won't get muted. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Love and light. Oh, I love it. I love when spirit does that. Okay. So Zeta goes to the three, Kyle. All right. Who is going to be the lucky one? Carol's like sitting on the edge of her seat. Okay. This person's not here. Next. 
Yeah, that's how it works. They're not here. They, they just was moving on. All right. That person's not here. What is going on? That's the one. Jess. Jess. Okay. I'm missing someone's name. Why am I missing someone's name? Brenda, you paid for a ticket, right? Why is your name? I wrote your name down. Did I pull? I didn't do a reading on you yet, have I? No. Okay, Brenda, your your name's switching. Hold on. Okay. Okay, Jess, I'm gonna unmute you. Okay. So Jess, 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 Jess. Jess, are you wanting to communicate to someone that's brought that uh, to a younger male that's crossed over? Did I what? Sorry. Are you wanting to connect to a, a male that's crossed over? I know a couple of them, yeah. Who's the one that? Young okay, like in 20s, 20s, 30s. I think I have a cousin that was in his late 30s. Um, would they have taken responsibility for their passing? In other words, um, their actions, choices led to their passing, whether this was alcohol, drugs, or suicide? We suspect it was suicide. Um, does the, does the name start with an R? No. Okay, there's an R connection coming through for you. Um, okay. So either this is like Rob, Robert, Reina. I feel like it's a, it's a male. It's an R. My grandpa was called the camel. If it's okay. Everyone's grandparents coming through tonight? What the hell? And I said right at the beginning, <laughs> these are my two grandmas over here. Um, were you a sidekick though? Like, were you like almost like a little sidekick? Like, did everything with them? And did I don't remember him. Like, I don't really remember him well, but he crossed over a long time ago. Honey, it doesn't matter how long they've been crossed over, they're still there. Yeah, I know. I, I just don't remember if I was okay. Um, who are you wanting to speak to? I don't do this very often. Either relationship, my mother, or the name. Okay, mom. Thank you. Is this a recent passing? Yes. Like, are we talking within 60 days, 90 days? With me. And then, sorry. Um, it's going to be a year in January. What just, what just happened within the last three months in regards to her? So is it the anniversary, her birthday? Something significant took place in the last 90 days that she would want to celebrate. Um, in September, she would have had her um, wedding anniversary with my father. Okay. Father's still alive, though? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Do you have your mom's, like, is your middle name your mom's first name? No. Hey. She said, what she showed me is like this, which is my sign pointing to my nose, which tells me that her, either your name, I trash, um, either you're, you're named after her or you look like your mom or there's some kind of connection that way. It's like I look like my mom. <laughs> okay. 
We're twins at the same age. Would you, would you have admitted that you were like your mom, looked like your mom when your mom was alive? Probably not. Um, Cause she's really funny about it. She's like, just ask her, just ask her. let's see if she'll be honest. Um, and I feel like you have your mom's laugh. You have your mom's giggle. And I just heard your laugh and that's what I'm hearing right now. Cause she's laughing. Um, I feel heaviness around her heart before she passed. So either she was, she struggled mm -hmm. with a heart attack or she had something heart condition, heart illness that was going on before her passing um, that caused her to pass. Or she was, there was something about broken heart or like sadness in her heart before she passed. Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay. Um, she's, so here's the thing with your mom. She's like in and out, in and out in and out um so i don't know if she was in and out of like the hospital before she passed or what this is but she's just showing me in and out in and out in and out in and out like i'm sorry i'm sorry i was always in and out i should have listened i should have listened and not necessarily listen to you because i feel like you were always on her ass anyways but i feel like listening to your dad but like who really listens to their husbands nowadays let's be honest yeah That's why i'm marrying a woman just saying um well i don't have to listen <laughs> <laughs> yeah that works um but like <sighs> I feel like you question like should I have done more should I have reached out should I have asked like did you miss a call from mom before her passing or was there something about because I feel like and you replay it over and over and over again and she wants you to stop that yeah i missed her call when they yeah. when she passed when she died i i missed the call yeah she, she just said she, like let it go let it go um she said she wants so do you have four kids or three kids three to four three okay there's a fourth one coming just saying oh no um <laughs> <laughs> there is a fourth one coming yeah. she keeps bringing up the fourth shot the fourth shot the fourth shot um i feel like two years from now not right away but two years from now so it would be bringing us into 2024 is when the fourth child will appear and you'll be more ready for that one anyways and um do you have boys <laughs> three boys yeah the girl's coming the girl's coming two years oh. girls coming girls coming mom's holding her right now so please know that um are and they will do that. I, I have lots of spirits that will come through. If there's a baby coming or they're going to send a baby, they will hold your, your grandparents, your parents will hold that child first. There will be a birthmark also on this child to let you know that they have the kiss mark from your mom. Okay. Um, no. I don't know what the recipe is or what the famous recipe is, but she keeps mm -hmm. talking about like brownies or like some kind of baking that was her recipe. And someone keeps trying to change that recipe. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Um, to celebrate and know that she will be with you at Christmas. She doesn't have a long, a lot of strong, strong messages today, but she just wants to know that she's in and around you, supporting you. I'm going to pull you a postcard from heaven and purple ones are next to me. So I'm going to pull that and I'm supposed to pull you a guidance card. Because I feel like you're really okay. struggling right now as to some decisions that are coming up for you. So your yeah. mom is giving you two postcards. The first one is manipulating energy is one of the easiest ways I can let you know that I am around. I can flick the lights, make things beep, and make alarms sound. I can interrupt the radio and find ways to play your favorite song. I can shut the TV on and off. And she likes doing that, by the way. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Each day I get stronger on this side and I will get more creative. The longer I've been here, watch, watch for me and talk to me when you know I'm there. I love to send you signs. She says, stop watching COVID stuff, by the way, whoever that's for. I don't know. <laughs> it gives me anxiety. So, okay. Um, and then the other one is, don't worry. I won't let you stumble alone in the dark. I'll walk ahead and go light the way for you so that your life will now become brighter every single day. I love you. So I hope that makes sense for you. And then I'm supposed to pull you a guidance Absolutely. card. I love and just like that, I love it chooses me. it. And it says shine. Best card in the deck. Now is the time to shine. So for 2022, 
get ready and look at this. This is how I know you're going to shine in 22. Look at what numbers on it. 2022. Right on. So shine your light, be who you're meant to be, and start speaking your fucking truth. Good. Even if that means to dad. Oh. He's a stubborn man. Um, I hope that makes sense. Oh, I, hope, I hope that makes sense. I hope it resonates and I hope this helped you. And I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas. You too. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So this is either going to be Brenda or Carol. One is going to get cards. One is going to get a message because I'm feeling drained already. All right. So, right or left? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change it all up. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put them both back in here. Whichever one pops out is who it's for. Okay, all right. Carol! Brenda, you're still getting something too, so don't, don't be sad, okay. So Carol, I'm gonna unmute you. There you go, you should get a request. There we go. Hello, my love. Hello. All right. So Carol, um, because it's just the two of you, I'm still gonna give you both little messages as well. But um, can you give me the relationship of a loved one you're wanting to hear from? I feel like this is husband though. Is your husband crossed? Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> he's like, Hello. <laughs> um, very very loud, obnoxious energy, but very loving energy. He misses you dearly. Um, he said, "Did you ever learn to cook?" I don't know what that's about, so I don't know if there's like a food <laughs> item or something that he liked, and you didn't cook it right. I don't know. He's just giving it. Don't don't kill the messenger, okay? Um. Was there something about the left side of his body? So did he have a stroke um, leading up to his passing? Cause he keeps showing me like numbness, pins and needles along this side of my body. Does that make sense? Mm, no. Okay. Oh, maybe it's, um, <laughs> it could have been the car accident. Okay. Cause I feel like numbness, like this side of my body, whether this was like what caused his passing or what led up to his passing. Um, it's almost like there was something else hidden, um, something else going on. He also shows me heart as well, but he doesn't show me in the sense of like, <sighs> okay. His passing was heart attack, correct? No. Okay, he's, Carol or Brenda, are you connected to someone with the heart? Because I know you both, here's the thing, you both are in the same room. Like, yeah. seriously, you two. So mm -hmm. does this resonate with you, Brenda? Yes, it does. My okay. okay, so what I want you to do is, um, can you do me a favor, leave the live, Brenda, and then come sit by her? Because this is going to be a rare, that. huh? How do I do that? Um, I'm going to kick you out of the live Okay. <laughs> and then just go move over next to Carol. What's going to okay. happen? What's happening is like, remember how I said piggyback. So they're it's both piggybacking through together. So I'm, I'm going to remove you. I love you. Please love don't you take too. it. <laughs> All right. So I think did that work? No, she's still here. <laughs> Hold on, because it, it's that. Okay, there we go. Hi. See, this is what happens when two people come together for one live. I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> so we have Carol's husband. And then, Brenda, is it, your is it your husband as well? It'd be my mother. Your mom? Okay. And that's who had the heart attack? Yes. Okay. Do you also have a man? Who's the male that would be with with both of them coming through. There's something to do with lungs. Somebody struggled to breathe or was on oxygen before their passing. So whether this is like your grandpa or like your dad, 
um, there's this male, very strong, very opinionated male energy. So it could be Carol's husband. They just could be like crossing over back and forth. My um, father. It could be whose father? My father. Okay. So see, listen, guys, this is how spirit works. This really frustrates with me when they do this, but killing two birds with one stone, just saying. Okay. So I'm going to get back to Carol and then I'm going to bounce back over to you, Brenda. So just hang out enjoy i love you both um so carol when it comes to your husband was the was your guys's wedding anniversary coming up or did it just happen um like and it's really funny because i don't know if you had like planned on being like he makes me feel like oh this was planned a long time ago so i don't know if like you were supposed to get married a certain day you didn't get married that day and you ended up getting changed in your wedding date or something but like i he's like you got two anniversaries, he says. You have two <laughs> anniversaries. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Um, he's big on celebrations. He's big on reminding you your how much he loves you. He says, I miss you, babe. I miss you. Um, and he talks about um dancing with you in the kitchen or like dancing <laughs> under the stars. Like he's like, he's like, mm -hmm. you're doing dishes, he pulls you away and just starts dancing. and you're like, babe, yes. I'm doing dishes. Like there's a time and place and this isn't the time nor the place. Um, <laughs> yes. He talks about you stealing his side of the bed and his pillow. And do you still hold his shirt or like do you have some of his clothes still? Uh, no. Okay. Cause there's something about like his, his blanket, his pillow, his something, but he keeps talking about that. Does that make sense? Um, I have something, but it's not a blanket or a pillow. Do you sleep with it though, um, or hold it? It's just above my head. Okay, so you're on the, on the bed, on the bed. Yeah, it's like a shelf so, right above. Okay, so he's just acknowledging that, and that belonged to him. Does that make sense? Yes. He talks about um, road trips and driving. He talks about the fact that someone doesn't know how to drive, whether this was him or you, and that's just what he used to bug about, but he's laughing about it now. Um, he's like, oh, you were forced to have to do it. You can be Miss Independent now. Um, he talks about, okay, so he's funny about this, but did he almost like razz you or like, I don't know if razz is quite the right word for it, but like, did he tease you a lot? about yes. things you did because he's like do we really need six of those like <laughs> do, do you really need six like you only need like one maybe two um he talks about multiples of things he talks about you changing the house or making changes around the house or within the house does that make sense yes um he says he's proud of you and that he loves you he says happy anniversary and have a great birthday so whether this is like coming up for you or it just happened he's acknowledging that he acknowledges the gift he's sending you so there is a gift coming to you and it's going to be almost like a surprise gift like unexpected um so some somebody's going to give you something and the first thing you're going to think of is, is that would have come from him like he would have given you something like that does that make sense mm -hmm. okay he talks about the journey forward. He's like, babe, the house is not ready. So sorry, you're stuck there for a while. Um, and your dream house is coming with the perfect kitchen, the perfect kitchen with lots of alarms, <laughs> with lots of alarms. I don't know what this is about. He's a browser. Um, He talks about like snuggle, cuddle, snuggle, cuddle. I don't know if that makes sense to you. I just have to give what he's showing me. And he talks about having two other animals with him. Um, and I feel like they're two little dogs, two little dogs, or like a medium, like almost like terrier sized dogs. That's what he's showing me. Um, he says they're with him. Um, and he talks about um, there being, I don't know if this is a cat. And he says, you, he sends you a bird. He sends you a bird. Watch for the bird. That's from him. Um, he says, Are you supposed to be, okay, listen, he's going like this to me. He says, talk about the glasses, talk about the glasses. Are you due to get your glasses done? Uh, yes. Yeah, go get your glasses done. Stop procrastinating. You are the queen of procrastination, he says. <laughs> Putting things off. Um, he says he doesn't miss the honeydew lists. Um, and he used to make a few of those for him as well as he would make them for you, but he would make them for jokes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, he sends you dimes and nickels. 
And he says, those are from him. And to know that are from him. He also sends, like I said, the birds, the birds, the little birds, and to put up the bird feeder. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, to not overdo it and to know that he is with you. Do you have any other questions for him? No. That's, no? That's a... Are you, are you kind of shocked right now? Like, what the hell? Um, <laughs> I love doing what I do. So um, thank you for allowing me to bring him forth. Okay, Miss Brenda, your mom is here. Oh, I'm going to pull you a lot. Wait, 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 wait. Brenda's like, I'm all excited. Um, I'm giving you a love, love note. Okay. Your husband says, are you ready, Miss Carol? Yes. Remember all the hard times and how we supported each other through them. I'm still here to support you. Even though I'm on the other side, we'll get through it all together. One step at a time. Don't give up. I'm always here. The second one. Yesterday, I was writing down all the things we laughed at, cried at, and got angry at. Some of them made me laugh so hard I thought I'd topple over. Some of them made me shake my head and wonder why on earth did we think that was significant enough that we fought over it. I cherish them all, even the ones you may have thought are, you may think are bad. They aren't. We won't, we went through everything together. I'm trying. Um, we went through everything together and you know what? We got through it our way the way we knew how and the way we could at the time. Remember that no matter what you're going through today, that soon it will just be a distant memory and we'll get through it all. I love you to the moon. And then the last one is, well, today there seems to be a lot going on over here. Something about a conference where there's a big push to send more angels to heaven. Apparently not everyone on your side has figured out that they need to live just like we do on this side from a place of love. I've told everyone here that you're on, you're my earth angel and that you spread love wherever you go to whomever you come into contact with. I'm so proud that you loved me. I have to break. Have a wonderful day and do us a favor from the other side. Tell everyone you meet that it's not about anything else, just about love. Thank you. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. All right, Miss Brenda. Okay, so Brenda, we are mama. Brenda, what's with the box? Do you have a, like a jewelry box or something that was your mom's? Yes. Did you, did you just like move it or like move it from one place to another? Not long ago, yes. Okay, she says, put it back. <laughs> put it back. Um, I don't know if she was just sassy pants when she was alive, but that's definitely how she's giving me the energy that she's coming through. Um, she talks about her hair and she's got her hair again. So I don't know if she was, um, her hair, her hair was sitting out or she had short hair when she, she passed, but she keeps showing me long hair, long hair, or that's how she had before she passed. She also talks about my thoughts, not my own, my thoughts, not my own, um, or mind confusion before she passed. Did that make sense? Yes. Um, she talks about the fact that you second guess or you're questioning everything since her passing. Did you do the right stuff? Did you say the right things? Did, was it how she would have liked it? The answer is yes. Um, she says she put a lot of weight on your shoulders and she's going like this. And she says, let it go, let it go. She also talks about a promise that she makes you made that she made you make to her. And she's like, that was wrong of me to do that. Um, but she, she made you do things like your whole life that you didn't want to do. <laughs> um, and she says, I'm sorry for that. She talks about them be there being, I don't know if it's her sister or there's a sister over there. Um, because she's showing me someone to the side of her, which is family, um, and it's female. It's about the same age as your mom or just like not much older. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, and this person shows, is showing me, she's not coming through, but she's showing me a daffodil, which means that she passed from cancer. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, they talk about that they're with you um, and that you second guess spirit all the time. You have a strong connection to spirit. And I feel, are you still there? I don't know where you went. The battery's dying. Hang on, oh, no. plug in. Quick, plug us in, plug us in. Um, that you, um, 
I'm just gonna wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is what happens. Spirit drains batteries. Spirit drains batteries. Are we still there? Fingers are. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going and you guys figure it out. Um, she talks about the fact that um what is this? Okay, we're good. I hope. That didn't make um, noise. Someone okay, there's something she's showing me a shamrock, or someone's showing me a shamrock, like lucky shamrock, lucky um, or something to do with Irish. I don't know what this is. I don't know if she was Irish or you're Irish or Irish descent, some some. The, the my shower. father was okay um is he crossed yes okay because he's not coming through very much so like just pre-warning you um and it could just be because was he very low energy when he was here in the physical like not very communicative not very talkative when he was here no okay was he very distracted like At always times. doing things pitter pattering because yeah. i feel like that's what he's doing there um, he's like popping in and popping out. Like he doesn't have a lot of strong messages. So either you didn't have a very strong relationship with him that often, or like you were closer to your mom than you were your dad. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, two peas in a pod is actually how your mom put it. Um, she says the favorite memory is when you would go out and get your hair done go out and get your hair done and like spend that quality time communicating, doing things together. Um, she thanks you for all the rides. So I don't know if you took care of her and drove her to appointments and things like that. Um, and she says, thank you for speaking up for me when I couldn't speak by myself. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, that's charging. I didn't hear it. Ping, 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 ping. Hopefully it is. Oh, did you just look in an album of mom or did you just put a picture out of mom of something? Yes. She keeps going like this, opening and removing. Open, remove. So um, this is my way of being shown that you put up a picture of her or put something out that was hers. Um, she talks about the Christmas ornaments. Those were her favorite thing. And it's really funny because remember I said at the beginning, we're going to do a scavenger hunt. We're not going to do a scavenger hunt because like, yeah but um i wrote down five things and i feel like they were actually directed to me from your mom so um she showed me cinnamon sticks so i don't know if this is like christmas tradition or something about cinnamon sticks but she keeps showing me the cinnamon sticks and i wrote cinnamon sticks down on my list she talks about the christmas ornament like listen look, look at this this is one of brenda mm -hmm. In, in here, like that was my scavenger hunt list. So there's cinnamon sticks, Christmas ornament. Um, do you have, sorry, my ear is ringing. Do you have uh, like a Christmas ornament that was hers or that has her name on it or is some significance to a Christmas ornament? Yes. Um, you just lit a candle and you talked to her while you were lighting it and said, this is for you, mom, this is for you. Um, and she heard you and was there in that moment. She talks about you looking at old Christmas cards or finding old Christmas cards that she had given you recently. And I feel like this happened within the last two weeks. And it's like random places, like places that they shouldn't have been, you're finding them. Um, and she talks about having tea and Mrs. having tea with you. Um, don't forget cookies and tea, cookies and tea or cookies and coffee. Like she's showing me a hot drink. Um, That this has been truly a trying time for you, but you keep looking at it as like, well, look what my mom overcome. Look what my mom lived through. Look what she went through. She's like, dude, I practiced this my whole life. Like she's already gone through these, this pandemic. And I feel like your great grandma as well. Um, are you a healer or do you work in healthcare or what's with the healthcare? Or did she, what's with the healthcare? Like I feel I nurse know. or caretaker. So I don't know if you took care of mom before she passed or you looked after her, but I just feel like, there's caretaking in, in the blood. So someone was a nurse or, or was a nurse, is a nurse, there's some kind of nurse connection. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, not only the healer part though, like the nurse role or the doctor role, but like, do you work with energy? No. Okay, we're supposed to. 
Um, you have the gift. I feel like you come from a lineage of people that are gifted in that way. Um, but you don't always trust your intuition. You don't all, you receive messages. You receive deja vu. You have visions, right? There's different forms of psychics and mediums. I feel like you're almost like the middle ground. Like you're the one that literally will pass down, get the downloads. And then you have to pass it to the people that are the healers. Um, and you need to open up yourself to your own abilities. You have had the ability to see spirit when you were younger, but it's like it went away. It disappeared. And it's not that you feared it. But there were, there were a few moments where you saw shadow people is how I'm going to describe it, like dark energy, dark figures. Um, and that scared you to like not want to connect. Does that make sense? Yes. You're supposed to reconnect. You have the gift and you're older now and you're wiser and you know what to do. <laughs> um, don't fear things that go bump in the night because everything goes bump in the night, right? And <laughs> I, I want people to understand, especially for for you um when it comes to connecting we can make rules with spirit so there are certain areas that spirit is allowed in my home and there's certain areas they're not they're not allowed to come into my bedroom i'm not i do not allow your guys as loved ones if i have a reading book with you they're not allowed to come and wake me up in the middle of the night the only ones that are allowed to wake me up in the middle of the night is my immediate family so my mom my grandparents my brother sister that kind of thing they're allowed to or my grandkids can um, which they do repetitively, um, they can wake me up in the middle of the night, but as to like, just some Joe blows person, no, it's not allowed. Um, because my sleep is important. And I, with what I do, I need my energy. Um, you, they're not allowed in my bathroom. They're not allowed to watch me be intimate. Like that's a no, no, they have boundaries. I have boundaries and you have to set those boundaries. You struggle with panic and anxiety or that anxious feeling. And I feel like it overcomes you a lot of the time, not necessarily when you're out in public, but when you're behind the wheel. So I don't know if you drive or someone else, but it's like, almost like you have like little mini panic attacks. Like, oh my God, are we going to get there? Are we, are we there safe? When Christopher's um, driving. <laughs> when my husband drives <laughs> well he actually just had a car accident on tuesday well night, so. see <laughs> go like this smarten him up um there with you is his mom and dad crossed over yes that's who's coming through as well i feel like their energy is coming through they didn't see you as a daughter-in-law like they literally thought okay you know what we lost our son but it's okay look what we got we got her. She's amazing. Um, and that's the feeling they're giving me as well for you. Um, and they're laughing. Um, is your husband named after his dad? No. Okay. There's someone has namesake. So I don't know if you have your mom's name or your husband has someone's name. It's like first middle, first or middle name is resonate or is connected to someone else. Pam has my mother's middle name. And so does my granddaughter. Perfect. So it's their way of acknowledging that and saying, thank you. Thank you for letting our, uh, letting us live on. Do you have any questions for them? No. Okay. Your mom wants to say happy birthday and to celebrate you. Um, and she's like, celebrate me on Christmas and make sure I have food. Um, Cause she says there's no food over here and she's not impressed about that. Um, she loved to bake. You have her baking jeans as well. Um, bake her sugar cookies, the Christmas cookies, the, the, uh, is it tarts, butter tarts or some kind of tarts? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. There's some kind of family recipe. I don't know if you have the recipes or someone else has the recipes, but like keeping that tradition alive, um, and pass, pass it on. Do you have mom's ring? Yes. Remember earlier when I was trying to figure out who has mom's ring? Yeah, this is also connected to you as well. So please know that. Um, and yes, you can have it changed if you need to, like get it bigger or smaller or whatever you need to do. Um, blue or purple? Purple. Okay. Thank you guys for everyone coming and participating. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I love doing these. I'm going to be doing these again in 2022, one every month, because this is amazing. And I love doing this and it gives you guys an opportunity. Um, hopefully in 2022, I don't know who's just, who's from Alberta here. I know Sarah is. 
Z Zita, you're from Alberta? Where? You're in Calgary? I'm only like two hours south of you. We're gonna have to, yeah, I live in Tabor. Down by Lethbridge. <laughs> We're gonna have to hang out in the summer. Um, so I do know that for for us here in Alberta, um, we have a premier that's an idiot. Um, so <laughs> the, 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 the restrictions, um, I, I've received messages from Spirit and I can tell those of us in Alberta um, that Spirit has shown me that come July, we could be no more long, no longer masks. Um, and that's for Alberta and BC for sure. They're showing me that they literally are going through the provinces right now because I'm trying to get predictions. Um, I'm working on that. No one knows about this yet. I'm working on it. I'm practicing. I don't think I'm going to offer it this year, but I will be doing a predictions calendar for next year um, as an offer for 2023. Um, but they showed me that the pandemic was coming in 2019. So all right, Miss Carol, no, Miss Brenda. Um, thank you for wearing an, oh, see, I knew you had her ring. Thank you for wearing and honoring the gift I left for you. I know you think of me when you see or hold or wear this. It keeps us close and I'm blessed that you know how much it means. <laughs> so I hope that makes sense. Thank you, ladies, for allowing your reading to take place like this. I always have one or two people that end up having this happen, um, either friends from different places or like people in the same home. Energy, right? We are all connected to energy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you'll come back and do another one in the future. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I have some amazing readings happening. Um, I have a made amazing development mediumship development training starting in the new year as well so there's opportunities and also in august i think it is july or august i'm going to be hosting in Tabor um at my home uh, <laughs> zita's like what um an intuition development circle for those that live close to work on developing your intuition i also have a chiefy sarah knows about this her mom her mom actually helped me um put it up and then it crashed because of the snow um and it's on the ground laying sadly all alone um but there's um we're gonna do smudge circles and drumming circles and uh prayer events in in the summer different times so to those of you that do live local i can't wait to see you and meet you in person um and if you ever do see me in your community say hi i'm not i'm not scary i don't bite i nibble <laughs> I don't bite. Um, but thank you guys. And thank you. I don't know if you guys know, I have a, I did write a book this year. Um, it is available on amazon.com. Um, it's called Ben Don't Break a Spiritual Journey. I invite you to go purchase a copy. Or if you don't want to purchase through Amazon and you want them all the funds to go directly to me, you can get signed autographed copies through me by messaging my Facebook or sending me a message, however way, whether it's an email or whatever, um, and I can mail those out. I have some amazing other packages coming out, new readings coming out in 2022. I'm also shifting and the card readings are going away. So what's gonna happen now come the new year is card readings are gonna be automatically put in with mediumship readings, and we're gonna just automatically combo them together. Um, so if somebody orders, let's say, a 30 minute mediumship reading, they could very well get like a, a five card spread or three card spread. It's whatever spirit decides to do. Um, thank you guys for believing in me. This will be re uh, uploaded and available come the new year. I'm going to give myself some time because officially tomorrow I'm on holidays <laughs> and I'm so excited. So it's Captain Morgan's, it's vodka and it's wine <laughs> in that order. So um, thank you guys so much. I hope you all have an amazing day. Um, Zita, we're friends. Just saying for life. I'm watching you. You got your, you got your cancer sister with you. Um, I love you. And thank you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this. Did everyone enjoy it? Yes. 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 It was worth the $21. And just to yes. let you know, 
it is going up in price, but the reading for the Zooms are going to be um, anywhere between 25 and 35 um, with minimal tickets. I kind of feel like when it's like under 10, it's a great number. Um, so I don't think I'm ever going to do anything over that anymore. I'm going to keep it simple. Um, and I'm actually going to be limiting it even more to like five to five to eight people at the minimum come the new year. So, um, and that way we can, especially if we do five, we can have longer readings. So thank you guys. Have a good Christmas. I love you. Talk about me, tell your friends all about me, share my shit out and have a, have a, have a Merry Christmas. You too. All right. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>